Do you think age is a barrier to fitness? Think again. Let's debunk this common misconception right out of the gate. Age is not a barrier to fitness, it's merely a number. It's a myth that's been perpetuated for far too long and today, we're going to shatter it. Recent research findings have shown that physical abilities can improve at any age. Yes, you heard it right, at any age. The key here is consistent training and the right mindset. If you're willing to put in the effort and stay committed, there's no limit to what you can achieve, regardless of the number of candles on your birthday cake. Today, we're going to talk about a specific fitness goal, mastering pull-ups. A daunting task for many, but with the right approach and persistent effort, achievable for everyone. So, ask yourself this. Are you ready to defy age and conquer your pull-up? Before we dive into the process, let's understand what a pull-up really is. A pull-up, in its most basic form, is a compound exercise that involves pulling yourself up from a hanging position on a bar until your chin is above it. It's a simple motion in theory, yet it's a challenging feat for many due to its demand on various muscle groups. Primarily, pull-ups target the muscles in your upper body, including your back, shoulders, chest, and arms. The star of the show, however, is the latissimus dorsi, or lats, the broadest muscle in your back. As you hoist your body upwards, your lats work in harmony with your biceps, forearms, and smaller muscle groups, such as the rhomboids and trapezius to complete the movement. But pull-ups don't just stop at strength building. While they are a fantastic way to sculpt the upper body, they also offer a range of other benefits. Pull-ups are a form of functional fitness, mimicking movements that could be very useful in daily life, like lifting heavy objects or pulling yourself up over a wall. They also improve grip strength, which can have a positive ripple effect on other areas of your workout regime. Pull-ups are considered challenging because they require a significant amount of upper body strength and control. Unlike many exercises that isolate specific muscles, pull-ups engage multiple muscle groups simultaneously. This requires coordination and balance as well as raw strength, yet, despite their reputation, pull-ups are an exercise worth mastering. They offer a comprehensive workout with just a single movement, engaging your core, improving your posture, boosting your functional strength, and of course, building that coveted V-shaped torso. However, as with any exercise, it's crucial to approach pull-ups with a clear understanding and respect for the movement. Doing so can help prevent injury and ensure that you're getting the most out of your efforts. Now that we know what a pull-up is and why it's beneficial, it's time to learn how to do one. It's time to conquer the pull-up, let's break it down step by step. We begin with the basic position. Stand tall under the pull-up bar. Look up, not forward or down, because where your eyes go, your body will follow. Now reach up and grab the bar. Your grip should be slightly wider than shoulder width apart. The palms of your hand should be facing away from you. This is known as an overhand or pronated grip. It's important to have a firm grip on the bar but don't squeeze it too hard. Your fingers should wrap around the bar and the bar should rest in the base of your fingers, not in your palm. Next we talk about form. Before you begin the pull-up, engage your scapula by pulling your shoulders down and back. This is called scapular retraction and it helps to stabilize your shoulder joint. Your body should hang straight down from the bar, with your feet slightly in front of your body. This position, known as the hollow body position, will help you maintain balance and control during the pull-up. Now let's move on to the movement itself. The pull-up comprises three stages, the initial pull, the midpoint, and the final lift. The initial pull involves engaging your lats, the large muscles in your back, Think of your arms as hooks and imagine pulling the bar down towards your chest. As you pull, your elbows should move straight back, not out to the sides. Keep your core engaged and maintain the hollow body position. Once you've initiated the pull, we move to the midpoint. This is the most challenging part of the pull-up for many people. It's where your chin is level with the bar. To reach this point, continue to pull with your lats and start to engage your biceps. Remember to keep your core engaged and your body in the hollow position. Finally, we reach the final lift. This is where you pull your chest up to the bar. To do this, continue to pull with your lats and biceps, and start to engage your upper back muscles, specifically your rhomboids and traps. Your elbows should be close to your body, and your chin should be over the bar. At the top of the pull-up, your body should be in a straight line from your head to your heels. Once you've reached the top, it's time to lower yourself back down. This is just as important as the pull-up itself. Lower yourself slowly and with control, maintaining the hollow body position. 
This eccentric or lowering phase of the pull-up is where a lot of the strength building happens, so don't rush it. To summarize, a pull-up involves standing tall under the bar, grabbing the bar with an overhand grip, engaging your scapula, and maintaining a hollow body position. Then, you pull with your lats to initiate the pull, engage your biceps to reach the midpoint, and engage your upper back muscles to complete the final lift. And don't forget to lower yourself with control. Remember, practice is key. Consistency will help you master the pull-up. As with any exercise, there are common mistakes to avoid when performing pull-ups. Let's delve into some of these and the best ways to sidestep them. Firstly, the grip. Many people place their hands too wide apart or too close together on the bar. Neither is ideal for a pull-up. The best grip is just slightly wider than shoulder width. This position allows for maximum strength and minimizes the risk of shoulder discomfort or injury. Next we have form. This is where many falter. A common error is not fully extending the arms at the bottom of the pull-up or not pulling high enough at the top. In a proper pull-up, your arms should be fully extended at the bottom and your chin should be above the bar at the top. Halfway pull-ups can create muscle imbalances and limit your progress. A related mistake is kipping or using momentum to bring your body up. This is not a true pull-up and can lead to back injuries. Remember, pull-ups are about control, not speed. Another common mistake is neglecting the core. Pull-ups aren't just about your arms and back, your core is also significantly involved. If you don't engage your core you may find your body swinging back and forth, making the pull-up harder and increasing the risk of injury. Lastly, let's talk about breathing. Many people tend to hold their breath during pull-ups, which can cause dizziness and limit your performance. The proper way is to inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. In summary, to avoid these common pull-up pitfalls, ensure that your grip is just wider than shoulder width, your form is correct and controlled, your core is engaged, and your breathing is regular. Remember, it's not about how many pull-ups you can do, but how well you can do them. Avoiding these mistakes will not only help you perform a successful pull-up, but also prevent potential injuries. So keep these tips in mind and conquer your pull-up one rep at a time. Let's recap what we've learned today. We've debunked the myth that age is a barrier to mastering pull-ups. Pull-ups are not just for the young and the brawny, they are for everyone. We've dissected the intricacies of the pull-up, understanding its mechanics and benefits. We've also broken down the process of mastering pull-ups into manageable steps, starting from the basics and gradually ramping up the difficulty. We've highlighted common mistakes that can hinder your progress like neglecting proper form and skipping warm-up routines. But more importantly, We've shared ways to avoid these pitfalls and keep your pull-up journey smooth and injury-free. Remember, the journey to mastery isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's about consistent effort and gradual progress, so don't let the fear of failure hold you back. Remember, age is not a barrier, but a number. With consistent practice, you can conquer your pull-up at any age. So why wait? Start your pull-up journey today!